Moses Nkongi Chibarama, the founder leader of what is now the National Inter Platform, has held the professionalism exhibited by the UPDF soldiers at Bombo Barracks and, in particular, the Rifaro Military Hospital. Speaking from his home in Buambo, Chibarama says he has been undergoing medical treatment at Bombo Military Hospital, where he was admitted in mid-May. Chibarama, who was discharged on 27th June 2021, says he was referred there after he slipped into a coma. But I woke up with the doctors surrounding me, machines surrounding me, and the ICU treatment is not an ordinary treatment. He commended the UPDF medical team, who were today making a follow-up check on his health condition at his home, before assuring friends that he was firmly on their way to recovery. So that's how they even came to my house to check on how uh, I'm progressing. I'm progressing very well, uh, except for the weakness. Uh, there's no even a, no further treatment recommended because I feel so well. Reports of Chivalama being in captivity started over a month ago after would be visitors were denied an opportunity to see him in Bombo. In explaining the matter, the spokesperson of the PDF Land Forces, Colonel Henry Obo, said Chibarama was undergoing critical medical care instead. That's just politicking. politicking. As you know, in Uganda, everything they try to gain political capital out of it. So it's just politics. Nobody was kidnapped. He was in safe hands, like any other patient. He was in the ICU section for a period of 14 days. We discharged him... Um, uh, last Sunday, that was on the 27th. Kanobo adds that friends and those who know him can meet Chibarama and his family at his home with his permission once he's fully recovered. <laughs>